Hello everyone. Welcome back to the new episode of today's Workflows Flywheeler. In this episode, we're going to focus about in a particular topic, which is really important. Why? Because this is why the company become more successful and more profitable in the way too. So the P factor is about starting with building connections. Yes. So today in the episode, we'll be focusing about how do we build great connections in the workforce so it can make a great impact for the company. And today with me, um, I ha- we have a guest, which is very close friend of me. We've been doing for so many exciting things for so many years. And it's one and only my friend, Pedro Vilaca. Uh, hello, Pedro. Welcome hello, to the today's episode. Nice to be together with you again. It's always a great, great pleasure to uh, to do these interactions and to be able to share my experience with you and with the audience. Let me pick one thing that you said and to move forward to the next the next topic. Sure. It's about it's a, you mentioned about the good managers. Definitely, you can cannot impl- uh, implement this type of policies, this type of cultures if you don't have a top management. And when I'm saying top is not about the, the level of the management, but is about the quality. Really right. need to have a special uh, qualified, but also uh, with the proper culture management in order that you can implement that. And I'm saying uh, this is a good, a, good, uh, a good tip to move to the next one, because the next one is about, uh, uh, is about the relation in between the managers uh, and the employees. How can right. you really create uh, a strong relationship? First of all, you need to have the right managers, but more more than that, you need to promote an open door culture in terms of management. What is that? Uh, this is basically uh, to have the manager available, the manager available not only for the direct reports, but available as an overall to everybody to promote, uh, actively promoting this uh, policy, not only has the office open, that's why I said an open door policy, to receive everybody, to receive uh, the inputs of all uh, members of the team, but also is the type of manager that normally when goes in the office, goes to the, uh, the production plants, take the time to stop to talk with every single employee on the way, from high level to lower level in the organization, to try to understand what are the pain points, what uh, the, are their vision and their opinion about practical things, and try to bring these uh, these inputs to the company to solve it, if there is something to solve. This is the type of manager uh, that really promotes to receive the, any k- kind of employee to drink a coffee, to do it together, to go to lower level, uh, and also as a good as a good tip is not only to promote this openness, but also is someone that. Once he understands something is not particularly well uh, moving the organization, to promote, to invite one specific employee to go for lunch, to have a more formal discussion. And this should be really done to all levels, which means it's very, it's very easy to do to do your direct reports. All managers used to do that, but they try to for normally they forget to do to other levels. And the impact if you go the lower in the organization is much bigger because then you create really a relationship uh, from the employee to the manager and vice versa okay and again uh, you are not anymore talking about employee number 10 you are talking about a name a face someone that you know and the employee knows also the the, the manager which means that really creates a, a personal relationship and the openness that he can come or she can come to you and share if something is really concerning. And this is something that you not, it's not just planning. You need to leave it. You need to do it daily. Uh, of course, you need to have the right, let's say, personality. Uh, some managers can do it more natural. Some can do it less natural, but it's something that the manager needs to keep in his mind to promote. 
And this topic definitely is, is really something uh, top down, if not bottom up. Of course, employees can be more, let's say, active or proactive to try to create, try to reach the manager, but it's much more easy to the manage to reach the employee. It's more natural, more easy. Uh, and if the manager do not promote, it will be very difficult that the employee feels comfortable enough to go to the manager. I'm a big fan of open door policy as well too, and I know that you really personally practice it because you told yes. me years back that this is something I do it, and they had a big, big difference. Thank you for adding uh, these bullets about um, the three tips: building strong relationship between the employees and managers. So from my side. I would like to stay with this one is about um, foster open and transparent communication. And I think this is something already you mentioned is an open door policy should be one of them too as well. But also how do we provide a two-way feedback? Employees are more com comfortable to give feedback to the managers. Manager is, is also comfortable to give feedback. In a way, it works not breaking things forward. And that is something, uh, going back to the Netflix again, they have been implemented really well and they just break that culture a year before and, and, and CMO or a C-suite executive got a not negative feedback from one of his staff and then finally the, the staff has to resign because he didn't say and, and it was a, a negative situation and negative tension between them two. And then the higher management also, it, it went to the social media as well too, then higher management triggered and also removed finally the CMO as well too, because at the end of the day, it's a counterculture environment where everybody should be able to give feedback as long as it is properly respectful and actually authentic. So, so that's the other side of fostering open and transparent communication. Number two, I will say this one, set clear expectation and goal. So a manager should create clear expectation and the goals on the team members so the manager can, and the team member can easily see where they are and able to hit this one. If the goal post is moving, it's impossible to hit this thing. And so often there are two mistakes that happen. One, the goal post is never clear. Expectation is never clear. The goal is always moving on. So everybody is, is a con confusing situation. And the second thing is about um, setting the wrong goals for the employees and finally hold employees accountable for for not setting, accomplishing the wrong goals, which is supposed to be not adding value as well too. So in this one is about, there is a lot of framework I will, there is in place, but the OKR could be a really powerful one too. Um, OKR framework can help designing and execute powerful objectives for the employees and the managers as well too. Number three, I would say this one is about support employee development and growth. So it's about, like we talk about great managers. The great managers will, will, it's so expensive to hire all of them from outside. So one of the way we could have great managers is about when we start building great uh, managers in-house and facilitating the journey to be a great manager too. So, so it's, it's not about just only managers, it's coming from the facilitating the growth from the, the junior level to actually building them to managers. So there's a common whole, I will say this one, is about in the company, oh, you do your job best, you perform really well, now you're a manager, we promote you. So now your job is about taking care of your team. And that's the terrible way because until now, they just knew how to do their job better. They have no skills to actually train other people and coach other prepared. people and inspire other people. The, and, yeah. and actually getting it done. And then I will prepare to. And there is no facilities in the, many of the companies, which is a big mistake. So when you're looking for all the great companies who are doing great, they have a great professional development programs and they, they could even do better to as well too. But majority of the company overlooking that one too and, and just focusing about how I can hire great manager from outside. So like an example, um, Pedro was in the company for 25 years. What an incredible um, service Pedro gives for this company. So how about if you have thousands of Pedro like this, how amazing will be from every of the company? And and there is a lot more Pedro like people in, in company like Siemens Heldener. So which that's why the company Siemens Heldener becomes what it is today.
So, so the company who are missing this part, they're missing a big thing in terms of building a good to great company. And you probably wanted to see the whole podcast episodes where we share a lot of strategies. So don't forget to click this video right now so you can see the whole episodes where we share a lot of strategy. Click the video right now and I will see you there. Are you a leader or an HR professional? So for you, this is a great channel. So don't forget to subscribe.